This is Samir. He lives in New Delhi. He is all set out to meet his childhood friend Vivek who lives in New York. So Samir took a flight on Friday 9.30 am from New Delhi airport for New York. Now the flight took 24 hours to travel from New Delhi to New York. So Samir calculated that if he boarded on the flight at 9.30 am on Friday and if the time duration is of 24 hours then he should reach New York on 9.30 am on Saturday. So according to Samir's calculation, he must reach New York on Saturday 9.30 am. But when he reached New York airport, it was dark. Now Samir was confused. It was night at 9.30 am. So Samir went outside and met Vivek. When he met Vivek, he asked, what's the timing? Vivek informed him that the time was 11.30 p.m. on Friday. Now Samir was confused as in why there is difference in timing because according to his calculation it should be Saturday 9.30 a.m. but the actual time was 11.30 p.m. on Friday. Now Vivek clarified that there was difference in time because USA and India follows a different timing pattern and the difference between the two countries is of 9 hours and 30 minutes. So the time difference between USA and India is of 9 hours and 30 minutes. Now not only USA and India but other countries of the world follow different timing patterns. Now what determine these different time patterns? The time patterns are determined on the basis of some imaginary lines and this is how the imaginary lines look like if we draw them on a globe. From this image we can find that the imaginary lines are vertical running from North Pole to South Pole. Now do you know what are these imaginary lines called? The vertical imaginary lines running from North Pole to South Pole are known as longitudes. So unlike latitudes which are horizontal imaginary lines, the longitudes are vertical imaginary lines running from North Pole to South Pole. Now let us know more about these imaginary lines. Take a piece of paper and fold it into half. You will find that a vertical line or a crease separates the paper into two equal halves. Similarly, an imaginary vertical line that separates the entire globe into two equal halves is known as the prime meridian. So we see that this line divides the globe into two equal parts. So just like that piece of paper, if we fold this globe along this line, then we shall find that this side is equal to this side. Now since this side lies to the east of the prime meridian, therefore this side is the eastern hemisphere and since this side lies to the west of prime meridian, so this is the western hemisphere. So here we find that prime meridian is a longitude that divides the earth into eastern and western hemispheres. Now this prime meridian is an important line of longitude and it is known by a special name. Do you know what? 
prime meridian is also known as greenwich meridian this is because if we draw this imaginary line on a world map we will find that this line passes through greenwich uk or specifically this line passes through royal observatory which is situated in london and since this meridian passes through greenwich it is also known as greenwich meridian now as i mentioned greenwich meridian is another name for prime meridian now the word prime itself means important so this meridian is known as prime meridian because it is an important line of longitude as prime meridian is a reference meridian and all other longitudes are drawn with reference to this line let's see how now before we proceed with our lesson let us try to answer this identify the longitude which is also known as the greenwich meridian is it the antarctic circle prime meridian tropic of cancer or the equator yes the correct answer is prime meridian prime meridian is the longitude that is also known as the greenwich meridian while the rest of the names denote different latitudes that we have already read about we know that the prime meridian divides the earth into eastern and western hemisphere now if you open the globe along this prime meridian you will find the orbital plane and see which is the center of the earth now take a point n on the prime meridian where it coincides with the orbital plane now draw a line from c to n this cn lies on the orbital plane that is if this is the orbital plane then the line lies on the orbital plane so we can say that the line makes an angle of 0 degree with the orbital plane hence 0 degree longitude is also known as prime meridian now take two arbitrary points p and q on the circumference of the orbital plane now let's connect these two points with c that is the center of the earth now we shall measure the angle between cn and these two lines the angle between cn and cp is 30 degree while the angle between cn and cq is 20 degree now if we draw lines passing through p and q then the longitude passing through p will be known as 30 degree west and the line passing through q will be known as 20 degree east longitude so in the previous video we understood how the longitudes are drawn prime meridian is the longitude that lies on the orbital plane or it makes an angle of 0 degree with the orbital plane so prime meridian is the 0 degree line of longitude now all the other lines of longitudes are drawn with respect to this prime meridian that is these lines of longitudes make some angle with the prime meridian so this gives the true definition of longitudes so what are longitudes longitudes are angular distance of a point to the east or west of the prime meridian that is this longitude is situated at an angular distance of 30 degree from the prime meridian or it lies 30 degree west to the prime meridian so the angular distance between this line and the prime meridian is 30 degree and since this line lies to the west of prime meridian so this particular line is known as 30 degree west longitude 
again coming to this line the angular distance between this line and the prime meridian is 20 degree now since this line lie to the east of the prime meridian so this particular line is known as 20 degree east longitude so this picture explains how the lines of longitudes are drawn and we find that all the lines of longitudes are drawn with respect to the prime meridian so in today's video we understood the concept of longitudes we understood that longitudes are imaginary vertical lines drawn on a globe then we also learnt about the prime meridian which is an important line of longitude then we understood that the longitudes can also be defined as the angular distance of a point lying to the east or west of the prime meridian so this is all about today's video in our next video we will understand different characteristics of longitudes don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now